Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome to Sunpay again. In this video, we are going to perform machine learning, and uh, in order to perform machine learning, we are going to use a data set of customer churning data set. I will give you the link of the data set in the description below so that you can practice it by yourself. So we'll basically predict if the customer will exit the bank or not. So it's a classification problem. Uh, we'll classify a label basically yes or no, uh, zero or one. And in order to deal with uh, this classification problem, we're going to use some classification machine learning models. And uh, in order to work with this project we have to start uh, our project by importing some uh, necessary libraries like I have imported pandas here as you can see pandas is a python library and uh, pandas help us to deal with uh, different kind of data frame uh, and uh, in machine learning we will have uh, different kind of data frame and data structure and we can deal with them easily using pandas library as you can see we have imported our data set right here using pandas read csv so this is how we can deal with uh, uh, different data frame using panda pandas library and then we have imported numpy numpy is nothing but the numerical python and numpy uh, helps us to deal with uh, numer numerical data also it helps us to deal with uh, arrays, uh, 2D, 3D arrays. And then we have our Seaborn and Matplotlib. Uh, these two libraries will help us to visualize our data. We can uh, plot our data using uh, Matplotlib and we can uh, make uh, beautiful um, charts, with, um, beautiful graphs using Seaborn. And then we have imported warnings and then warnings dot filter warnings ignore what this uh, couple of lines do actually uh, in our machine learning model we will have uh, different kind of warnings uh, we'll get warnings when we will be working with uh, machine learning then they will ignore this two line will ignore uh, the all the warnings we'll get so this is why we are importing warnings basically and then here we have imported a uh, label encoder from Escalanda pre-processing and uh, this this label encoder helps us to deal with uh, categorical data like uh, in our data set we might have uh, different kind of categorical data like we can have uh, a color column where we can have uh, red yellow green color but our machine learning model will not understand the color if we don't uh, handle them properly we have to uh, we have to get a numerical version of our data like if we use label encoder to transfer our data to numerical number then it will transform as a, a 0 1 2 like that and this is why we are uh, importing label encoder from sklearn dot preprocessing. Then we have our train test plate right here. We have imported that from sklearn dot model selection. And uh, uh, train test plate will help us to split our data into uh, train and test set. We'll use our train set to train our model. Then we'll use uh, test set. To compare the model we have built like how it's performing and then we have our uh, some classification model this all are the classification uh, machine learning model we're going to uh, apply in our data set we have logic logistic regression here though it's uh, the name is regression here logic regression but it deals with uh, classification problem so this is not a big issue just the name the name is regression this is a classification uh, model actually and then we have a Gaussian name base model and we have imported decision uh, tree classifier from Escalanda tree and we have imported uh, random forest classifier from ensemble and then we have 
uh, imported k neighbors classifier as well uh, here we have spc uh, from svm and then we have also uh, imported exibust classifier then as we can see we have imported metrics from uh, SQLAN and uh, we have imported uh, accuracy model AUC configuration matrix uh, rock uh, AUC score and rock carver recall score from SQLAN dot metrics these are nothing but the evaluation metrics uh, for our uh, machine learning model and evaluation metrics will help us to evaluate our data like uh, after we uh, build our machine learning model so we can evaluate like how well the model is performing on our data set we can evaluate them using uh, this uh, evaluation metrics so this is why we have uh, imported all these necessary uh, libraries here then it's time to uh, re uh, import our data set so we have used uh, pandas read csv to import our data as you can see chan model like not csb and then we have imported our data successfully and then uh, as you can see we have checked our data set that uh, it has been imported successfully or not here we can see our data set and uh, there are so many columns here and the last column that is exited uh, with uh, 0 and 1 values only this is nothing but the uh, target column of our data set we're going to predict uh, this column so we have successfully imported all the necessary libraries we need we didn't get any uh, wrong here um, and we have successfully imported our data set so it's time to uh, understand our data and play with our data so see you in the next video